All right, g'day guys. Today we are going to have a look at some software you can use to basically create maps of worlds, towns, cities and dungeons. Uh, it's a question that I'm seeing come up on a very, very regular basis. Um, probably been asked about three times a day in some social circles. So I uh, thought I'd make a bit of a video um, just so I can provide a quick response to people, honestly, um, and show you through the software that I use. Uh, so the software that I use is called Campaign Cartographer 3, uh, and I've got two add-ons for that, uh, City Designer and Dungeon Designer. Um, I spent a lot of time into Dungeon Designer so far, I haven't played around with Campaign Cartographer or City Designer, uh, but we will show you those anyway. So we'll jump over now. Uh, in front of you, you can actually see Campaign Cartographer 3 um, running in Dungeon Designer 3 mode. Alright, so this is a little map that I've been working on. Um, just like any Windows application, you've got toolbars all over the place. Uh, you can see over here you've got a pane of uh, pre-made symbols and items that can be dragged very quickly and easily into your map. Um, I'd say don't be too overwhelmed by this software. Um, it, it overwhelmed the hell out of me at first, but uh, uh, it is actually quite simple once you get used to it. Um, there's a lot of really sort of in-depth features that you can use, but if you just focus on the simple stuff uh, and learn from there, it shouldn't be too challenging. Um, so we'll just zoom out at the moment. This is a map that I've been creating. Uh, very simple. I've created some lawn, I, I, some grass. I've got a cave system uh, that goes into a bit of a, a temple at the back of the cave system. All right. Um, and obviously it's, it's pretty much done. Um, I'm, I'm getting there. I've gone through and I've, I've created some rooms and I've populated those with different things. Uh, I've got some prison cells with a bit of a torture area. Uh, I've got a place of worship for my for my cult to come and spend some time in. Uh, if we go over here, you can see I've got some nice living area as well for them to play on. Um, some of you might recognise the uh, the artwork style uh, that is Mike Schley's uh, pack that I'm using in this one. Um, he creates official maps for Dungeons uh, and Dragons, so Wizards of the Coast. Uh, so you might recognise the style. Uh, that is a pack you can buy from the uh, the Campaign Cartographer 3 website. Uh, so it's made by a company called Pro Fantasy. If anyone uh, wants to go and check them out, I will include the links in the description. Uh, but yeah, uh, so this is uh, what I've been working on. Um, now, obviously, for anyone who's working with Roll20 or that, this, this is you know pretty usable. Uh, you can have the grid turned on or turned off. That's up to you. Uh, you can export it however you like. Um, you create layers if you wanted, so you could have a, a layer with all your trap information on it that the players never see. You can create a copy with that information, of course. But just to show you sort of how easy it can be to use, uh, we'll go ahead now and we'll create a uh, an extra room uh, on top of my area here. So we're just going to try and find a, a look that I like. So we'll go a nice cobbled section. So in here, I'm going to create a room in here. Um, have the door down here. So the way this works is you click a node. Uh, I'm going to turn snaps on, so I'm going by my grid. Click a node. You can see you can do all sorts of pretty shapes if you want it. Click, 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 left clicking here. I finish it off um, and I right click and that fills it in. So that's it, I've got a room. Pretty simple. Hit my refresh button and you'll see the walls pop up come on the top. So now I want to fill my walls in. Uh, and again, that's pretty simple. Uh, we use this wall type here. Uh, we click where we want the walls to go. Just clicking every node that we want it to connect to. And there we go, walls. So that's a pretty easy dungeon room. Um, we can go through and obviously put an entrance way on it. We've got some doors here. Uh, the door's obviously too big. Um, it certainly needs to be sized. So we hold down control, move the mouse a bit up and down, uh, and then we can basically come in here and position how we like. Uh, and then we go. Um, probably got the door on the wrong side there, so we'll come in and we'll just do that again. Oh, it seems to like it that way. A bit of a... Oh, there we go. So it's based on the mouse. That no, still doesn't do it. 
Anyway, you get the point. Uh, I'm sure if you played around with it enough, or if you're more uh, familiar with the software, you might be able to know how to turn that around quite easily. Um, once we've got a room, uh, we need to go through and obviously fill it out. Um, and we've got all these basically buttons up here, which are categories of images that you can add into your room. Uh, I'm going to turn snap off, so I can put a bed in here. Uh, we'll hold down shift and move the mouse so we can rotate. I'll put a nice big bath in the corner. Um, give him a desk and a table. Um, and we'll give him a fireplace. So as you can see, it's really quite simple for me to sort of move these things around. Um, quite quickly. Um, just for the sake of it, we'll put in a spike trap right at the door. Hopefully no, someone falls in that. Um, and positioning things is really, really not that difficult. Um, there's a whole heap of different artwork that you can use. Um, and that artwork is uh, something you're obviously going to be wanting to look out for. Um, and the benefit of using something like Campaign Cartographer 3 is the fact that, you know, there's an entire community of people out there putting out pieces of art uh, for people to use. Um, and if you see here, I've got uh, all these buttons down here, uh, which are actually basically packs that are provided by the community. So if you go onto the forums, there's a, uh, a huge um, amount of images that you can download. Um, in these packs that the community has created, uh, allowing you to very quickly and easily uh, increase the amount of uh, options you have for your for your maps. Not that he needs a tree in there, but you know you could put a tree in there. So that's pretty simple. Um, and these maps on their own, obviously, look pretty good. I'd, I'd be very happy with you using this at my table. Um, it does get better than that, though. Um, because it's obviously an image program, you've, you've actually got sheet effects. So when we turn the sheet effects on, boom, we've got shadows everywhere, and things start to look a lot better. Now I'm nowhere near professional in this software yet. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that are doing a hell of a lot better job than I could ever hope to do. Um, but, you know, I, I'm even happier with that than what I would be. Um, what I have learned to do is what we call a floor mask, I think, where you put an extra floor mask over here, hiding the shadows that appear in the dirt. Um, but again, there's different advanced tips and things that you can learn as you go on and use this software. Alright, so that's Dungeon Designer 3, and that's the one I've minorly played with, so obviously that's why I'm showing you that one. Um, and for most of us who are probably playing in different uh, pre-made realms, that's generally enough. But uh, there are obviously those people out there that like to create uh, their own uh, worlds. And for those people, what I've done is just download some, uh, some quick uh, examples. So these are not my maps. I'll state that clearly. I downloaded these off of the... Uh, Campaign Cartographer 3 uh, website. Um, these have been created by members of the community, I believe. And boom, as you can see, someone's created a world here um, with some beautiful mountain ranges and rivers, and you've got surrounded by sea. Uh, and just to give you an idea of you know, how difficult it is for you to come in here and do this, um, at the end of the day, we are just dealing with bits of colour and shape. Uh, we'll change over to the campaign Cartographer 3 mode instead of Dungeon Designer. Um, we'll come in here and we'll have a look. Alright, so we want to have a, a little village up there on the hill set. Um, up here on the bend of the river there's going to be a large abandoned fortress. Over here I'll have an actual castle. So very simple changes that I'm making here. Um, I'm not really that artistic yet, um, but what we'll do is we'll put in a volcano, because everyone needs a volcano. Boom. Very, very easy. All right. So I'm just going to put a road in between the little towns that I've made. 
press the wrong button then. So I'm left clicking to put nodes in and then I right click to complete and you can see boom I've got a little pathway there uh, if you wanted to join on one it's as hard as putting it in. There we go. Um, rivers would be put in very similar way um, and yeah it's really quite easy to use and obviously the result is, is incredible. Um, absolute hats off to whoever made this they've put a lot of effort in um, but as you can see here you can you could probably whip something up pretty quickly especially if you had an artistic flair to you. Um, so we'll swap over now and we'll show you what you can do with the city designer. Oh, don't mind my computer while it has a bit of a freeze. Alright, so this is City Designer 3. Uh, again, we've got a different button up here to activate City Designer 3. And you can see in here we've got someone's made a lovely little map of a town. Uh, again, this isn't my map. I've downloaded it for the sake of speeding up this video. Um, we come in here though. Um, there's different art styles and I'm, I'm going to be using the wrong ones. I like the halfling one. Okay, we can make it bigger. Uh, what is it? Tab. So holding shift to rotate, control to size. And again, I can very quickly and easily sort of add things into, the, uh, into this effect. There's a whole heap of different styles. So as you can see, I can click through the options here to change the way things look. Um, there is modern stuff if you wanted to use cars and all that sort of stuff as well. And then obviously the ability to put roads and signs, uh, there's your colour layers. Again, I have not played around in here much, um, but to show you that it is possible, um, you could very quickly and easily pump out a, a map of your town or your city um, and then export that to utilize uh, you know, wherever you want to use it. Um, obviously, personally, I'd be loading that into Realmworks um, and basically getting that going as a, a map that I can add pins to. Um, and, you know, that, that would be very easy for anyone who's obviously followed along. Uh, map of Ferron should have it. I should stop clicking... Uh, go on this one for the example videos for anyone who's seen this one before it is a massive picture but imagine you're loading in you know your pictures that you've made in camp campaign cartographer 3 loading it into this tool set and then adding your pins and writing what's actually in those locations um, you can really fluff out a sort of nice looking place I think um, and I think it'll be a really um, useful piece of software uh, so far I'm really enjoying using it um, you will read that there is a learning curve and absolutely there is a learning curve um, but it's, it's a learning curve that I think has been a lot easier to get over this time uh, now that they've released the uh, CC3 Plus version versus the original version. So uh, if you have checked this out before and ran away screaming, I suggest you have a recheck, um, see if the Plus version is for you. Uh, this certainly isn't the only software out there. Um, as we discussed earlier, if you want to go back and have a look at the Cartographers Guild website, it's just cartographersguild.com. Uh, and there is a whole heap of uh, discussion there uh, about um, different software that you can use. So you can see they've got a sub-forum for software discussion. Uh, and there's people in there discussing all of the different type of stuff that you could use uh, for making maps. So there are certainly other options out there. Um, I just really liked um, Campaign Cartographer 3 um, in that it's, it's simple to use and comes with the symbols. Um, and I'm allowed to sell my work on uh, as long as I'm just selling the maps. That's the bit I was looking for. I want to be able to eventually create some content and sell it. Um, I'm I'm pretty keen to see what the uh, Realmworks content market's going to look like. So I'm playing around with the idea of creating some maps, um, putting some content together, and selling it on there. Um, not to make profit, <laughs> to be honest. I just I kind of want to see if it works. That's about it. 
So the software exists. Um, it's a good piece of software. I uh, check it out. I couldn't tell you if there is a demo, um, but yeah, I, I'm certainly enjoying using it. Um, and yeah, go about and uh, enjoy creating some maps and bringing them to your table. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks, guys.